Good morning from Wimbledon where it's men's finals day. I'm a little bit excited here and I hope Ross Hutchins is too. Are you Ross? I can't wait. What a day. I know this is what it's all about really and what a fortnight we've had. It's been incredible. You know right here on the men's final Sunday of Wimbledon, the end of the best tournament in the world, the greatest two weeks of my year, so it's so exciting and what a tournament we've had as you said, you know it started off with a lot of people, seeds falling, top names losing and almost thinking wow what's going to happen the rest of this tournament, but here we are, fantastic final ahead of us, beautiful day, can't wait to see what happens. We've had a lot of surprises but at the end of the day we've got the number one seed and the number two seed walking out on centre court today. How is this match going to be decided? Well, it's such small margins, Alex. You know, one or two percent here. We've seen so many great matches from them in the past. US Open final, you know, Rome semi-finals, other huge matches, the Olympic semi-final when Andy came out on top, and they're so mixed on the grass. Andy's won the last one, so that's great for Andy to feel confident in that match. They've both played fantastically well the whole two weeks. Both almost been the standout players. Both had tough matches where they've come through tough situations, especially Andy's, Andy's quarter-final against Badesco, which was, you know, a scare. But, but what a tournament we've had, and those two, I think it's the deserved final that we all want. And I think those two, apart from the clay, have really taken over the tour. They've almost been like, well, we're the same age, we're a couple of days apart in birthday, we're the ones now who's taking over and Djokovic has done the last couple of years but Andy's like right I'm following you I'm up I'm on your tail so since the US Open final Djokovic has won their last three meetings is that in either of their heads um, I mean you know they've all been close matches um, I think it will be in their heads I think Djokovic will take confidence from that but center court home crowd grass Andy's last time they played on grass Andy won so there's, you can look at it both ways I think they both both feel like they've got a very good chance I think it's a 50-50 match it'll come down to who's hitting the ball the best in the day who converts their break points. The tactics, they know each other so well. These guys are number one and two in the world. There's no hidden secrets. It's not coming down to a forehand or a backhand. No, is no, it? no, it's not. It's down to sort of who has who can play the bigger points better, who can serve yeah, who can serve the biggest when it, when they're down and who's gonna be how hold their nerve when it comes to the latter stages of what I think could be a fourth or fifth set. You know Andy obviously very well. Is he a different person from the Andy Murray who walked out of the Wimbledon final this time last year? He's a different person in terms of confidence. Um, he's got more confidence, he's got almost as much expectation, as much drive, if not more. Um, you know, and the fact that he's won Olympics on this court, he's won US Open beating Djokovic, he's hugely confident. He knows that he's good enough to win a Grand Slam. He know that, knows that he's good enough to stand above Federer on, and Djokovic on that podium. Yeah. So, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling to have and he has huge confidence. A year ago, you know, he was probably thinking, oh, I've, I've lost in the last three finals. Yeah. I really want this one on my home saw. That there's a lot of expectation, but now he's won a Grand Slam. It's almost like, well, I am a Grand Slam champion and I'm going to try and do it again today. So I think I know the answer to this question, but uh, who's going to win this match then? <laughs> Andy Murray's winning this tournament. He's going to be our champion and I uh, can't wait to see him after the match. If he holds a trophy, and I believe he will. What's the one thing we've seen that's a bit different this year, the sipping? Yeah, people have fallen over, but it's not down to the courts in my view. It's down to almost clothes companies and shoe companies taking a little bit more risk with the pimples. Players trying to take more risk with their movement. When you look at hard courts, when you see Djokovic and all these players sliding, doing the splits, hitting on the run, hitting on the slide. It's like an ice rink out there when people play on hard courts. So now they're trying to do it on grass courts, it will lead to falling over because it's so tough to do on a grass court. But also we haven't had to use the roof too much, but it's such a good addition. When there has been a bit of rain or a bit of darkness, we've had unbelievable tennis on the roof where it almost got exploded off with the noise. People about two miles away can hear them and it's an incredible place, amazing arena and once again such a successful two weeks. Thanks for tuning in for the last two weeks, we've enjoyed it, I hope you have too. And there's going to be a new Wimbledon champion at the end of today.